What up, y'all? What up, 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 guys? What's up, ladies? What's really good? So, man, do I got some shit to talk about? So, I'll wait for everybody to come on, come on in, y'all. Oh, the text is already sent out. Mm. Where's everybody at? Everybody probably sleep, huh? You think they sleep this early? I don't think they sleep this early. So, Girl, girl, girl. Mm. <laughs> and I ain't even started yet. <laughs> oh, this good. <sighs> My eyes are trash. My eyes are just trash. <laughs> Girl, her and that binky, baby, she not playing. Hey, cousin. Girl, I'm eating this. I can't even read it. My eyes are tripping. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell it say. Hey, girl, hey. I like the I like all the flavors. All the flavors taste good to me. Sweet in the ham. Hey Nathan, how's the diet going? It's going good. Walmart, the kids that he is, Walmart. You mean, um, you got to make the case that he is, but you talking about the tortillas shells? Miss you too, Smiley. Yeah, I had a call. It wasn't salmon. It was catfish. It was catfish. And it was bomb. And the peas was fire. Hey, security bag. I feel better than yesterday, but I still feel like at nighttime is when it seems like it gets worse. But I got something to pitch a bitch about today. Y'all share this out if y'all can. I got something I want to complain about today. I do. 
I'm upset about it. I'm so upset. And I want to tell it. So, you know, I said I was trying to be positive and all that good stuff, right? And it's always something to make me not be positive, right? All right. Well, I'm positively finna tell y'all this fuckery. Don't start clenching your pearls just yet. Because what I'm about to tell you is some straight fuck shit. Okay. So. Okay. So let's just say this. Let's just say this, guys. Give him a warning that if he's not more consistent, he'll be kicked out. So, here is the fuckery. Y'all ready? The fuckery is... I went to the doctor... Right, and the doctor said that I had. Well, first they gave me a CT scan, right, and it said I had lesions in my uterus, right. You buckled your seatbelt, okay? Oh, brother, what you old brothering about? So I went to the doctor and I had a CT scan done. In that CT scan, it said that I had lesions in my uterus, right? Which led to me going to the OBGYN, right? I'm just going ahead and give y'all the, the storyline. So, the real storyline. It's a real story in the line of when it happened. Not a fake storyline, a real one. I go to the ER because I got diverticulosis, whatever, <laughs> in my intestines, right? I'm constipated as hell, full of shit, right? They tell me, they give me a CT. They say, hey, you got lesions on your um, uterus. I say, oh, they say you need to go to a gynecologist. So, I say, okay. Right around that time, it was some other shit said on the internet. Y'all all know y'all was there. And so I got also tested while I was there, right? And told them that they said that I needed to see a gynecologist because I had lesions on my uterus, right? Right? No, I didn't have I didn't have the itis. I had the otis. It's two different ones. The diverticulitis and itis. I had the otis. I had Otis, Uncle Otis. So, just so we're all following the same story. So, I go to the OBGYN. I find out I got the herpes. And they tell me to get an ultrasound, right? I get the ultrasound, right? The ultrasound leads to I have precancer. No, leads to I need to have a biopsy done on my uterus, right? So I get that done, right? Right. So I go on and get the ultrasound done. I get the ultrasound done. And they say I need a uterine um, biopsy. So I get a uterus biopsy, which hurt like fucking hell. And then it comes back. I have precancerous cells, right? And so the doctor's like, oh, we need to give you a hysterectomy or you can put this IUD inside of you and it'll thin out your uterine wall and it should get rid of those precancerous cells. 
It's only going to release hormones to your uterus. And it could be a cure for what you got going on. Okay. So she says, I need to get an IUD or get a hysterectomy. So since I'm pushing to hurry up and get this gastric bypass, right? Because I'm trying to get, get healthy. Okay. I say, well, how soon do you want it done? She's like, oh, we got to come up with a plan, start a plan like within the next month. I'm like, okay. So she says I have to come back every three months to get another uterine biopsy to see if the IUD is doing its job and thinning out the whoop de wop and getting rid of the precancerous cells. So, if I go back in three months, September, and it says that I still have precancerous cells, then we have to have an hysterectomy, right? Which I'm not trying to have. I have precancerous cells. I don't have cancer. Okay. Praise God. I have abnormal cells. Blah, blah, blah. So. So. I can't get the bypass and get the hysterectomy at the same time, period. Okay. So, my problem is that I haven't had a cycle. I asked her, I said, is the IUD going to make me start my period? No, she said she's not going to um, leave my ovaries. She said if she does the hysterectomy, she's going to take it all. Period. Period. Well, it does. You can Google it, Tracy. It actually does. You can Google it and it'll tell you that it does. It has a hormone in it. So. Now, when I look up my stuff, it says abnormal cells. They don't say precancerous cells on my paperwork. So, my problem is that after two years, I'm cramping like a son of a bitch. I'm bleeding whenever. One day I'm bleeding, next day I'm not. One day I'm spotting, next day I'm cramping like hell and I'm bleeding. She said it would make me not have a period. But I guess the period is good because that's where the precancerous cells are. In the lining inside the uterus, which would be the blood that you shed, right? What are you talking about, Jeopardy? Oh, I had herpes. So, the bleeding, I think because, you know, I have PCOS, I have a PCOS, so I think now it's giving me the hormone that I needed to make me have a period. So now I'm having a period. Well, 
kind of. One minute I'm having a period, next minute I'm not. So. Yeah, she told me she wouldn't leave uh, the ovaries if she does a hysterectomy. It would be better just to take it all out, is what she said. So, yeah, so my mood is like, woman, I'm bitchy as hell next minute. I want to cry next minute. I'm happy. I'm just like, Argh. you know. And, I, and my stomach hurts. And my back hurts. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. <sighs> but, like, I earlier today I coughed and I felt blood. Went to the bathroom, sure enough, blood. Okay, cool. Put a pad on. Go back to the bathroom all hours of the day, nothing else. Then... Sneeze, blood. So I'm like, oh, okay, so it's like not coming out on its own. It's like only if there's pressure, right? She said that she will she will not leave my ovaries if I have precancerous cells because it, it could lead to those having precancerous cells. Yeah, IEDs cause irregular bleeding, yeah. Oh, the blood is bright red, like red. Same color as my period blood would be. Which I'm shocked by. Which I'm shocked because I would think the blood that would be coming out would be darker because, you know, I ain't had no period in two years. Yeah, I am. But... Were you bleeding before you had the IUD? I think the reason why I'm bleeding is because I haven't had a period. Warning, make sure they know that there is no 30 day rule anymore. If they're just not consistent, Daily, they will be removed. <sighs> and then she said um, that you don't need to take pills just because you have a hysterectomy. She said every woman goes through menopause. And if you have a hysterectomy, it'll send you into menopause. So I said, well, don't I have to take estrogen or something? She said, no. It's a natural thing in life. She said it's natural to, you know, go through menopause. Melanie, have... Are you, do you have hysterectomy? I mean, have you had a period? I mean, yeah. Are you menopausal? Yeah, she said that you're not supposed to uh, need it, need uh, estrogen or none of that. So, 
So I prefer to, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to go back in three months and get the uterus uh, checked again. How old are you now, Jackie? No, it still hurts like a motherfucker. Damn, are you still going through it? That's horrible. Yeah, the IUD is already in, in place. So in three months, we'll go back and we'll see what the, hopefully the cells are gone. And the IUD is working fine and we can continue life, you know. She says she won't leave my ovaries, though. She said you don't have to take hormones. She said you do not have to take hormones if you go to menopause. So what I'm hoping is, is that I will lose the weight. She said a lot of this is caused by my weight. So I'm hoping that I'll have the surgery, lose the weight, and then my body will just go back to regular. I just told you she said she won't leave my ovaries. I'm not taking hormones. Hormones cause people to have heart attacks or strokes. I'm not doing that. My blood test already said that I was menopausal. I don't know. Girl. I'm not worried about being sexually active or not being dry. I'll go get some uh, lubricant and wet that thing up. Well, that'd be perfect if they take my sex drive away. Because my wife don't have no sex drive, so. Yes, this one is way bigger than this boot. And I went and had a, a thing done on it. You know, a, a, a mammogram. And this titty has, see, it's, it's noticeably bitty, bigger. And I told them that. It's weird. But um, since I got out of surgery, this one's been gaining weight, and this one hasn't gained shit. It's so weird. I don't know why. But this boob keeps gaining weight, but this boob's not gaining nothing. But this one it has never been this much bigger than this one, ever. But I do have a mass in this one. But they said it's benign from the ultrasound and the uh, mammogram.
Hair blues are like my hair. It's crazy. I'll be like, ah, I'll be wanting to go like this. <laughs> Look, now it's even. But that thing be hanging. It be hanging to the floor. <laughs> Yeah, they said that the mammogram and the uh, the mammogram and the ultrasound came back that it's a benign mass. Ooh. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of loose skin, especially all this. All this is going to be horrible. I'll probably have it everywhere, honestly. I don't know. My stress test came out fine. Yeah, I'm not going to get nothing cut until I lose. I don't know if I'll get it cut when I lose weight or not. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it at that time. I don't know. <coughs> Latina needs my, my attention. What's up? What's up, Latina? What's goody? What's up, girl? What you want, girl? I said I don't know if I'm going to get my skin cut or not. I don't know. Depends on what my health is afterwards. I don't know. A lot of people are trying to scare me about this surgery, man. And I just, I don't know. It's scary as hell. I could just not have the surgery and just eat right for the rest of my life. And lose weight that way. I don't know. I'm scared as fuck to have that surgery. I look big, big. I am big, big. Thank you, Latina. Thank you so much. I'm very big. Big as big can be, baby. Well, you say Whitney don't want to touch me. Whitney does want to touch me. Whitney touches me. I don't know where everybody gets that from. Yeah. What door? To come in the, in, oh, the laundry room door? Okay. What? All right. Hold on, y'all.
Hold on, y'all. Give me a minute.
My bad. My bad, y'all. Had to have an important talk really fast. And I had to let the dogs out. Oh, I noticed the angle of this camera makes me look long titty as fuck. Why does it look like that? That's so weird. Ugh. <laughs> it makes me look way bigger than what I am, but if I back up, it, you know, look like it's weird. It's the angle of the camera. Look at this damn titty. This tit just chilling. This little bitty titty just went to the market. <laughs> Mm, that shit crazy. Let me see. Somebody sent me a love token. Oh, thank you, Kel. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. That's crazy. My top ain't it. Oh, you hurt me. You hurt my feelings so bad. <laughs> what the fuck? These damn dogs are crazy. Thank you so much, love. Hey, Sama. I know you told me that already. Thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate you. Get them puppies. Girl, they better get they sell. Them puppies is getting on my damn nerves. When I say they getting on my nerves, they getting on my nerves. Yeah, I am. So I'm trying, man. I pushed a bunch of TikToks today. I did. A bunch of promo. And I became an Amazon influencer today. You know, Messy, you must have didn't get the memo yesterday when I said anything in my past. We ain't talking about it because it's in my past. Whatever did or didn't happen, ain't nobody business, really. You know what I'm saying? I could call that man right now and he'll talk to me, baby. So, you know, there y'all always trying to start some shit, start some drama, and talk about some shit that did or didn't happen 20 years ago. Yes, go check out all the new TTs after this. I made a lot. Wait till you see Brandy on there. She's funny as fuck. He just needed a tune up. <laughs> yeah, we ain't worried about no past before. I mean, whatever we were worried about was going on right now. We was talking about me having a period. That's what we was talking about. Oh. 
And if you do something about the kindness of your heart, you guys, why do you feel like the world needs to know that you do it? I don't get that. Like, please don't give me nothing if you got to let the world know that you did it and it was last you had and this, that, and the third. I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't give me the last of what you got, period. Please don't do that. Because that shit makes it feel like you trying to, like, set me up to make me feel some, I mean, to make people feel some type of way about me or something. That's weird. Jennifer, I wasn't even talking about you, but you said that was the last you had on PayPal, not the last you had in your pocket. I was talking about people who say that that's the last they had and they sent it to me. Don't do that. But didn't you already hit me up and tell me that? Am I, let me see. Didn't you already tell me that? I could have sworn you told me that already, though. Didn't you message me and tell me that? Yeah, the, it's on my old one. Uh, but like I said, I wasn't I wasn't really talking about you. Yeah, if you can't uh if you can't give whatever out the kindness of your heart, please don't please don't give me nothing. Like please. That's why she blocked. Who blocked? It was like a hundred here today. Dang. I bet, Jennifer. But once again, I wasn't talking about you. You didn't say that was the last money you had. Like, it was a lady hit me up today like, I gave you my last dollar. And I said, boop, refund. Don't give me your last dollar. Please, don't do that. Because then it's, oh, Mace out here taking people last dollar. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, motherfucking ma'am. Aw, uh, thank you, Debbie. And, you know, this, this is the thing. Like, I'm really, like, I was trying to explain it earlier. I was like, you know, for July, I got July's, uh, you know, I know I'll have July's mortgage. Because I know I earned enough in June for July. No, I know I own, I'm earned enough in May to get paid in June to pay for July. Right now in June, I'm not making no money. So I think, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this cock I do crap. You know, and everybody's saying, quit Facebook. I'm like, shit, I ain't got no money to quit. The fuck? <laughs> I ain't making no money for real. And I've only made 300 on uh, fan base. So I ain't made no money this month. For real, for real. Last month I did good off the bonus. But that yeah, was that. You know, my Facebook shit is... I mean, I'm still getting paid. So it's worth, you know, at least getting what I can. But it's just not enough. For the month of June, this, that better not be funny. That's crazy. 
The past seven days, I made a hundred dollars. <sighs> what the fuck? I don't even understand it. So I made $303 on videos and $347 on lives. That's it. Six hundred and four, seven, eight, nine, ten. So fifty three, six hundred and fifty dollars is what I made. It did give her a little booty. <laughs> it did. So I made so that way y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but. Six hundred dollars is what I've made this month, and I just don't know what the fuck mortgage I'm gonna pay with that, honey bun. I don't know. I gotta figure something the fuck out. That shit crazy. Let's see. And then last month. Seventeen. Last month I made twenty four hundred. Let me see how much. And the bonus. How much did I make on my bonus last month? Last month plus last month I made almost the mortgage myself. I almost made the mortgage myself. Almost. I made $7,633 last month. So that'll go to this month's mortgage, June. And I got all of July to try to get that shit for August. Even though that's going to set me even further behind. <laughs> we got to figure this out, maybe. What are we going to do? <sighs> and then this month, poor little swordfish. <laughs> this month bonus, $650 plus... 14, 14. So I made a total of $2,000 for the month of June versus 7,000. That's a whole $5,000 difference. Hopefully next month I make a motherfucking million or something. Maybe, who knows? Cloud made us. You can now bulk upload reels. You can now bulk upload reels. Upload multiple reels at one time so you can post quickly. Okay. Great. That ain't what I asked you. At all. Trying to figure out how this shit work.
don't even know what this is. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. People on your TikTok asking for the link to the wig. Let me go help them out real quick. Which one? Which way of the. Which TikTok is it? Let me see. Let me get the link. Let me get that link, Yana, real quick. I don't know if it'll take people to it now or not. Let's see. Yeah. Summer, I'm going to send you a link. And tell me if it take you to my uh, Amazon store where you can find the, the hair. Okay, Summer? Summer. Some my room. Tell me if that gave the uh if that take you there. I ain't got no poly princess. Anybody fucking with me for real. It's cool though, I ain't tripping. It works? Does that thumbs up mean it works? I mean you got it. Which one is it? Because I don't want to post it on there if that ain't what it is. Let me know. Sama. I got my mortgage for July, not for August. I still got a hustle to get that. I'm trying though. Let me see. All right. Oh, she did it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hit that thumbs up button. So yeah, that little wig, uh, little wig video. I released the video on here today. Did y'all watch it? <laughs> yes, please hit that thumbs up button for me, please. Hit the thumbs up. Y'all want to see all the shades I got? Y'all want to see them? All right. I mean, I ain't wearing them forever in a day, but would y'all like to see them? You love that kind of content? Girl, I would love to do wigs every day, but unfortunately, I don't have the money to buy wigs every day. So I was giving people my wish list because they said that they wanted to buy wigs for me to do. So if I start getting the wigs, then I'll start going. But right now, I don't have the money to put in a wig. Uh, yeah, you just watched it. You liked it. Yeah, I'm still sick. I haven't yet, not a lot going on, but I will. Okay. Thank you, Troy. 
So yeah, y'all want to see my 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 sunglass collection? <sighs> okay, Peachy. At least one person want to see. Okay, ready. I got this pair. Yeah, I got no choice but to figure it out. I got this pair. I feel like Missy Elliott with this song. I think they know. It's my window. I, I think they know. <laughs> uh oh, this matched my shirt. I so love these. So love them. I'm too far away from the camera. Yeah, the camera makes me look much bigger. It's so weird. I said that. It's I don't know why the camera. This ain't my phone. There. Let's see. There we go. Hi, guys. I feel all cross-eyed. <laughs> Ooh, la la. Ta ta. I don't know why that angle looks so weird. Maybe that's why people be like, you're so huge. Well, I am huge, but, you know. I had to get the all reds. <laughs> Period. Yeah, they not, though. See? They don't look so dramatically different. Look at this. Pearls. Pearls for the girls. Do a sunglass bundle donation slot and I would definitely play. What do you mean? A bundle glass sunglass donation slot. What? Oh, you want me to sell my sunglasses? Oh, well, I guess I will if I don't if I need the money bad enough. Huh? A bundle is how many? How many is a bundle? These are all my personal sunglasses. Right, this is my glasses. The hell? But I mean, worst come to worst, I'll sell these motherfuckers. Maybe not all of them. These are fucking cute. I like these. Mmm. Maybe five. Girl. I seen a girl on Tubi 
wearing these today. She was on Secret Society. She had these on. I said, I got the motherfucking glasses, girl. I seen these two on, on a girl on Tubi. I said, why they got my glasses? Why they got my glasses on? I like wearing this as a head thing, though. Fuck wearing with sunglasses. Wear like this. It's cuter. Especially if you got a wig on. Yeah. She said, give me your glasses, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm pissed too that I ain't had no new episode. <laughs> I've been waiting on it. Like, where is it? Put sunglass hut out of business. Girl. Girl. I've had these sunglasses for years. How many pairs do you own? Like 20? I don't know. We'll count them when I'm done. I don't even, I don't even much know. For real, for real. I couldn't call it. Couldn't tell you. I don't know, honestly. I got three pairs that are expensive, you know, and one of them is these Coca-Colas. No, I'm just playing. These little Coca-Cola shades, I thought they was unique. I like red. This squeaky ass motherfucking chair. Everything of mine got to be squeaky all the damn time. Maybe that's because it's like, bitch, get your fat ass off me. I don't know. Now these is so fucking cute. Because I am the tender heart care beer. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But my mouth slick as food. And I'll pop you in your shit. No, I'm just playing. No, I, won't. I don't want to fight. I want to love you. I just want to love you. <laughs> These are the shades that never end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. I bet you in your shit and watch. <laughs> yeah. I, these, I love. Just love these clear ass motherfucking with a hint of motherfucking nothing on them. They just got a little hint. We might as well wear these to, you know, for nothing. <laughs> hey, I like them. I don't know. Oh, I got a free pair of Coca Cola for somebody. I'm going to give them to somebody. Somebody, somebody's calling my name. Oh, happy Juneteenth, y'all, and happy Pride Month as well. I'll try not to this out. All right, now I got two more pair of motherfucking glasses, and I'm about to fucking show you. And you're going to fucking love them, okay? You're going to fucking love them. Yeah, you're going to fucking love them. Yeah, you're going to fucking love them. Yeah, you're going to fucking love them. Yeah. Oh, I, found, I found my nice little, uh, whatchamacallit? My nice little, uh, eyelashitas. I'm going to wear them to motherfucking Marl Beach. I don't know what the fuck this is. Don't throw it in the trash. All right. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Here is the cheaper of the expensive ones I have, guys. These are like $200 glasses. Or something like that. 
or maybe a hundred. I don't know. Cat bought these for me. Katarina. Cat Beauty World. My long lost sister bought me these. And then let me show you. I got some Versace's. Versace, Versace. These are expensive. These are Versace's. Versace, Versace. Ooh, did you hear that? Don't play with a. And these are Versace. These are my favorite. These are my favorites. Of all times. Because I feel like a bug with them on. So, yeah. That's back in the days when I was rich. I'm not rich anymore. But some days I say I wish I was rich again. Back in the day. Those days are over. But guess what? I'll always be rich in my heart. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Oh, woo, woo, woo. I want to do a new promo ship. I'm going to charge one fifty a month. To opt out anytime you choose. I want to start doing something. I gotta start doing something. I don't know. I'm getting bored. Gotta start doing something to make sense. So now, y'all ready? Oh yeah, I love her. Um, let's count. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen.
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I got 25 here. And I got to organize my whole drawer and it looks great now. Thank you guys. Look at how great y'all is. Next, we should count my lippies. I'm so disgusted by how much money I used to spend. Shall we walk down memory lane? Can I get a refund? <laughs> Can I get a refund? Can I get a refund? Ugh. I can't even believe it. The money that I spent on people. And they had the audacity to talk shit about me. Oh, shut up, maybe. Shut your, shut your motherfucking ass up. Shut up, bitch. Ooh, bitch. At the Gucci motherfucking throat. Let's just see. Not motherfucking once. <laughs> Not one, not two. But we got, you know, we got two, two of them. Mm -mm -mm. Well, huh, I had to shut my motherfucking self right the fuck up, because when I look at this sixteen hundred and twelve dollars, and I look at this fourteen hundred. And ninety dollars, I say, well, I'll be about a son of a motherfucking bitch. <sighs> you know, and we're just gonna throw this shit in the fucking trash, so I don't ever have to think about it again. Okay, I am cussing myself. <laughs> I'm cussing myself out because this was for shoes, bitch. For motherfucking shoes. You know what I'm saying? That a motherfucker didn't deserve, okay? That bitch did not deserve that shit. Anyways, though, the little Gucci thing is cute, though. Now, let's see. We got Versace here. What we got going on with Mr. Versace? $2,998. What was this for? <sighs> mm -mm. If I could do it all over again. My God, my God. I don't even know what the fuck this shit is on here, for real. It say $850 for something. $795 for something else. And $1,125 for something else. I don't even know what the fuck, what it was. I don't even know. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, that shit said two two thousand nine hundred and ninety eight fifty three. Boy, I was living it, wasn't I? Uh 
Yeah. <laughs> That's probably for the damn shoes in here that I can't wear. I wish I had a way to like make a like a store or something to like sell a lot of my clothes. I had a lot of brand new Nike tights that I ain't never wore. I got a thousand zillion lippies right here. I love my lippies though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I use them. Well, I ain't used every lippy in this drawer at all, but. I will. I miss when I used to have no less than 10 to 20 in my account. Fuck. Shit, I remember when I wouldn't let my bank account go under 200000 I would not let that bank account go under 200000 at all. Thanks for showing us your glasses. That was fun. Make a Mercy Car account to sell stuff. Mer Mer Mercery? Mercery? How you say that? But you know what? Life is life. And uh, you know, can't cry with spilt motherfucking milk. You just get the fuck over it and move the fuck on. You know. And if I show you all the lippies I have, I have a million lippies. Mercury. Oh, Mercury. My bad. Oh, honey. I'll sell them anytime, honey. I have a drawer full of them that I don't wear. You know. If I lost weight, I would definitely wear them. But if I'm getting gastric, I'm not going to never fit those. I'm going to go straight from fat to skinny, so that ain't good. I ain't going to wear them. I ain't going to be able to. Unless I just stay on a diet and lose the weight myself. I don't know what to do. I'm scared as fuck. Tell you the truth. But I'm even scared every time I look at these fat ass legs. But I'm eating right. I'm damn sure doing a diet, so. I hope so, Samantha. Uh, thank you, West Coast Gen. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep doing content. Definitely. I would do, uh, like, different, like, I, I wanted to do these eye, like, for pride, I wanted to do, like, pride color eyes. But I don't have the stones the girl had. But I could do it with glitter. I think it would be pretty with glitter. Yeah, I have to get skin removal surgery. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool. Like, it's good food here, but I'd rather have a good life, you know? Yeah, yeah I still have the bicycle. Um, Tony's leg, these legs are huge. I would not want to tone them. I'd want to lose weight, then tone them. We love you doing those videos. Yeah, I just got to get some more wigs and stuff. And I want to do, uh, makeup. I want to do a pride makeup look, you know. I do. I want to do a pride makeup look. But. I got to have the, let me check on my daughter and make sure she's okay. 
Let's grab it her from her. Let me see what her location is. Is you okay, little girl? I'll be checking on her like she's 12. Hey, you okay? Okay, I was just checking on you. Oh, I don't care. I'm just was checking on you because, you know, I don't know where storming and stuff and, you know. Oh, okay. All righty. I told you. And that might be right. You don't ever listen to your mother. Yeah, I told you. Just don't do that. Don't do it that way no more. You hear me? Do it the other way. All right, but I'll let you do your thing. All right, bye. Love you, bye. She's out there trying to get that shmoney, honey. Tati's at work. She's working. Working, 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 working. But I still was worried about her. I know she's working, but she still be having me worried. Because it's late. I guess she's working over. She's working over time. We all snuggle. May be happy. You can still walk. I have a bad back, bad knees. I was heavy too many years and it's hard now. Pain daily, but I lost 90 pounds and changed my diet. Once you start, it's hard to go back. So, my weight is already bothering my back and bothering my knees. You know? Oh, you said we all struggle. I said snuggle. My dumb ass. But yeah, um, shit, I'm trying to lose weight now so that way it won't be as hard on my back, you know? Miss May, was social media your come up? Miss May, was social media your come up of main income? Did you have a backup plan if when Meta stopped paying content creators? Nah, I didn't have a backup plan, honestly. I, uh, when I started doing this, okay, so when I started doing social media, I was also a caregiver, not just for my sister. I was a caregiver for two other clients. And then it, I had those two other clients. So I had an elderly man we called Uncle Ray, which was like an uncle to me. He used to be a friend of my father's. And um, so Uncle Ray, I used to take care of Uncle Ray. I took care of Uncle Ray since 2012. I took care of him 2012 till, let me see, when did he pass? Not sure. I took care of Uncle Ray for some years. I'm not sure when he passed away, but um, oh, he passed. No, it wasn't in 2012. I took care of him, man. I took care of him for three years, so it must have been 2011. Or either it was 2012 to 2014. I'm not sure. But either way, I took care of him for a couple of years. And I used to take care of him years before that. You know, um, before I went to Arkansas and stuff, I used to take care of him. So I had Uncle Ray and I had Dorothy. I used to take care of Dorothy. I used to take care of my sister and take care of Uncle Ray. And then I opened up a hair salon in 2016. I had my own hair salon and opened it up and was cool. Then I went through a separation and my sister was sick. 
and I couldn't run the salon and deal with everything at home, the kids, my sister, and everything, and keep the salon going too. So I gave up the salon and closed it down. And then I, um, but I did, I still did, uh, I started doing the, that in a home care again, taking care of people again. And then in 2016, I started social media. No, in 2015. I don't know if it was 15 or 16. I think it was 2016. I think I started social media in 2016 or 15. 15 or 16, I don't remember. So I um, did social media and I also, I never expected to make money on social media. When I first started doing social media, I was just trying to advertise me doing hair. I wasn't even trying to get paid on social media. I just wanted everybody in California where I live to know that I did hair. That's all I wanted. I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't know there was money to be made on social media. I didn't know there was a such thing as a Google AdSense on YouTube. And I didn't know that, that you could get paid for going live. And I didn't know any of that. Nobody had ever told me. So I had no idea at all. I had never seen nobody go live on Facebook before. You know, maybe they did. I just didn't see it. You know, I don't know. I wasn't also on Facebook like that because I was always working, you know. I've always kept a job, always. I've never not had a job or a source of income, period. You know, if it wasn't me working at Walmart, Church's Chicken, uh, the corrections facility I worked for, if it wasn't for me working for taking care of people, I literally took care of people for 17 years straight. So, um, I always had an income, I always had a job. I also used to do childcare. So, um, you know, I did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I braided hair out the house, saved my money, got a salon, opened up a salon on my own, no loans, no nothing. And I did it, you know? So, you know, I, I never, I never thought I would get paid on social media because I didn't know it was a possibility to get paid. That was never my intention. My intention was to just advertise that I did hair and sold hair because I used to sell just bundles, wigs, and uh, frontals. Like I didn't used to sell, I mean, I didn't try to do anything but let everybody know that I had um, hair for sale and did hair. That was it. That's, I thought for a while that I was going to do hair and do caregiving for the rest of my life. And then one day I was sitting on the edge of my bed and I said, this ain't it. I'm not going to keep doing hair. Like hair is not going to be the end of where I end off of working, you know, like this ain't, I love it, but it's starting not to be fun anymore, you know? And, um, I don't know. I just kept going. I was going through something in my life, you know, I was going through pain and and I was just my heart was broken at the time and I just was go, really going through something, you know. So I started going live more and more and more to keep my mind off of what was going on and to try to, you know, show people that you could do hair no matter what the color of your skin is, you know, that my my fingertips nor am I racist and you know, I can do, I can braid hair as well and put your hair in a beehive and sew you on, you know, sew them tracks on in there. And that's why I tatted it on me because my love was doing sew-ins. I used to love doing sew-ins forever, you know. And uh, so I tatted it on me because that was my thing. I loved sew-in extensions. And I used to do a weave real quick. Give me a full head sew-in. Boom, let's go. You know, uh, thank you. So, you know, then it went from, you know, me just, I've been grinding my whole life, you know, but 
I, I was so like lost at that point. Like I hit a, a low point in my life. I was lost. I was, I didn't know where my life was headed. I didn't know what I wanted to do anymore, you know? So I just started going live and, and then they was like, Facebook emailed me and said, would you like to become a content creator? No, a social media influencer. That's what it was called then. And I said, sure. So it said, push start, start here. So I pushed the button and I started getting money. It wasn't no big money at first. It was like the money it is right now, you know? And um, I was just adding that to whatever I made, you know? So then I started doing YouTube a little bit and making a little bit more money over there. So I was like bringing in like three, 4,000 a month, you know? And I was like, oh, I'm used to making that, you know? So it wasn't no big deal to me. It was just, okay, it's some, you know, extra money. So... I started saving my money up and started buying things that I normally, you know, didn't have the money to buy and, you know, getting my kids and my sister what they needed and, you know, doing regular shit. And then, you know, I, I just wanted to change in scenery and I wanted to move. And I kept saying for the past, well, four years prior to me moving here that I wanted to move, I wanted to relocate. And I wanted to bring my sister, but she got sick and she just kept getting sick. And I just was like, I don't know if that's the best decision. So I just stayed put, you know, kept doing hair and then, you know, closed the salon, but I kept doing hair out the house and stuff. And, you know, not all the time, but, you know, client here or there. Cause I used to have clients that had been with me for 10 years and they fucked with me strong. I still have a lady who buys hair for me strong. She's been buying hair for me for 10 years, you know, and, uh, should I had the same hair company since 2012? I've had the same hair vendor. Now these other wigs, I'd be getting this from other vendors. I'd be trying out and stuff. But if I have bundles and stuff, I only get bundles from that company because I don't trust hair bundles from everywhere else. So anyway, um, I don't know. I just I started making good money when I got to. I was making good money before Houston, but it wasn't like the money that I made after Nita died. When I and I feel like. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I only made that money because that was God saying like, here, this is your blessing for taking care of your sister here. You know, and my sister led me to the bag. That's what this is about, this tattoo. And the love for my sister and my sister loving me feel like got me rich for the moment. And if I would have did right with it, I would have still had it and I would have still been rich. And this money that I would have made on here just would have added to the, the pot, you know? But I fucked up and uh, lost it all, you know? And I did. But I still consider myself successful. Very successful. No matter if I'm making the amount of money I was making before, I'm still making money. And if my mortgage wasn't so high, I would be doing good still. I'm blessed. No matter how, how you know, it may seem or I know I don't have all the money I need or you know, I may not make my house payment in August, you know, whatever the case may be, I'm still blessed. I'm alive. I'm still here. You know, I'm going through things like anybody else and you know, I ain't no different than the rest. And I've always said that, you know. I was a silent watcher for years. I witnessed you take care of a lot of people. It's time for you to bounce back and do you. And that's what I'm doing. Like, uh, that's what I plan on doing. Like, I'm doing my content now. I wish, I wish I had the money to really, like, get the things that I need like I used to. But I don't. But, you know. As time goes by, you know, it'll happen. It'll happen. But, you know, I want to do a video. I'll probably do a video tomorrow with the pride colors, uh, with the makeup. 
Because you know I'm not a makeup person, but I think it'll be cute. I think I can make it look cute. We'll see, you know. And uh, I want to do that for sure tomorrow. I want to do the little pride makeup I've seen. Like, it may not be like like the girls that did it, but it'd be close. And I want to do... <sighs> I want to do other content. See, and there's another part about having a surgery that really doesn't work for me well with being a content creator either is that I can't eat. See, because even if I could eat diet food like cucumbers, I still could eat, you know? Like I could do mukbangs of cucumbers or mukbangs of boiled eggs or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know... So, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to uh, regroup from who and change the game somehow, some way. Because I want to be positive. I don't want to be negative. And I know I may lose people, you know, but I don't care. I used to be so scared to lose fans, like even haters. I wouldn't block nobody because I was like, nah, I need them. Now, today, I'm like. Let them all go, and then I'll rebuild. The ones that are meant to stay are going to stay. You know what I'm saying? The ones that are meant to be here are going to be here regardless. You know? They're going to be here, you know, no matter how much dirt gets thrown on my name, no matter what. Like, the ones that love me going to love me through it all. And that's all I can ask for, you know? I, I really just, you know, I don't know. I let, uh, I'm I'm leaving it in God's hands with this house. Like, I ain't tripping. I'm more focused on my content than anything else. Yeah, and I really just want people to love me for the person that I really am, you know? I don't want a bunch of people just following me just because of whatever reason. Like, I really want people to follow me because that's what they want to do. I wish it was more of my friends that lived in Houston so I could actually, like, go do content with they ass all the time or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I wish there was more, more people in Houston that I could actually do things with, you know? Because the people in my house don't like to do social media at all. And the baby's a baby, so I could only do so much with her, you know? I do got a video to post on her page, matter of fact. I forgot to post it on her page. I did a video of her earlier. And I forgot to post it on her page. She is the funniest baby in the world. When I tell you, this baby is so funny. Hilarious. And she wants to be in the camera. The whole time I was doing Brandy's picture, she would not stay out the damn camera. I was like, princess, get out of the camera, princess. She did not want to get out of the camera. And she's so funny. Now, she's my little buddy, you know? And Princess, I believe, will like to make it with me. Failures give up. I don't see failure in you, period. Thank you. Hell no, I don't want to be. It's tons of creators in Houston. But a lot of them don't, like, I don't know them. And a lot of people don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever they've heard of me. They don't know me, but whatever they heard, they don't fuck with me, you know? And, I mean, I don't blame nobody for not fucking with me, you know? You can only, you know, go by whatever you feel you need to do, you know? So, it is what it is. It's a ton of creators in Houston, but if I make a post and say, hey, what's up, Houston creators? Crickets. The only one that will fuck with me for real is Big Jazz. And Andy, that's it. That's it. 
Indian Big Jazz. I want to go to Big Jazz, uh, a tiny house so bad. Oh, I, I believe that I'm blessed above and beyond. I believe it. I believe that to a T. And I believe that I am one of God's favorites because I'm still here, you know. Because that's what I asked to still be here. Dad's Beauty Collection. Yeah, I've asked, but she be having a lot going on. So, I don't know. I don't know. People say they fuck with me, but they don't fuck with me for real. They don't. My friends fuck with me, but my friends ain't content creators, so. Yes, everybody's blessed to be here. Absolutely. I don't know. I thought me and Dad's beauty collection was going to be way closer than what we was. I told her that. Do a podcast, please. I could do a podcast on here. On YouTube. Hey, now, in due time, it'll all figure itself out. I ain't tripping. I want to keep reviewing products and stuff and, you know, keep talking about them and shit. And, you know, I like reviewing products and I like trying different things. Like, I tried the razor today. I did it on my TikTok. You know, my TikTok got a lot of little things I'm gonna post it on my uh on my um uh, my reels with my TikTok link TikTok 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 once the baby stuff and it, and I'll be having so much going on it'd be hard I didn't go to the event I was sick I'd had the, my uh, endoscopy that day. I didn't feel, I wasn't sick, but I didn't feel good. You know, just like I, I want to use this thing and I want to review it. Oh, sorry, week. I want to use this thing. It's a chargeable electric milk frother. So I want to try this so bad, but I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to froth. It says coffee cakes, eggs, whipped cream. It says use instructions. Press the switch button and the product works under the green light. Press gears directly and to turn on, turn on switch. How to make ideal. Well, here we go. How to make ideal milk froth. A measuring cup. Put flour. Tank the milk. So now you see the half of the container when it's splashing. Whip position the whipper is inserted vert vertically in the third and quarter. Milk covers the stirring head, and the height of the stirring head is adjustable according to the degree of whipping. Uh, de beginners are advised to use low and medium speed. The time is controlled 10 to 15 seconds. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Today, guys, we're trying this. I want to try this. Well, maybe I could make me some keto hot cocoa in the morning and try it. You've been wanting a frother? Girl, I can't wait to try this. I can't wait. Mm. Yes. Electric milk, milk frother. I was going to play a game for it, but I don't have one, so. 
I was like, maybe if I get another one, I'll play a game for it. But this one, I don't have one. So I want one. Ooh. And I love these little things. The little wisps. I love wisps. Now, I don't know what this thing is for. Um, but, you know. Who knows? And it's charger. I should charge it right now. I'm going to charge it tonight. So to be good and ready in the morning to whisk, so froth me up some shit. And it's portable, mm -hmm. and it's electric. Okay, get it. No more batteries needed. Period. I love that. Oh, it's already on, honey. Oh, well, let me just charge you anyway, because I know you don't have a full charge, honey. Yes. And that can, yeah. Is she charging? I'm going to look this up right now so I can add it to my Amazon wish list. I mean, not wish list. Uh, what you call it? What you call it? The influencer thingy, my bobber. Let's see. Let's add it to my list real fast. I need to take this charger out. Oh shit! Come on now. There we go. Uh, let's see. The Amazon wish list. I mean, not wish list. Why do I keep saying that? Amazon influencer list. Okay. I could add this to my storefront. Hmm, I wonder how I do that. Let me try to figure it out. Well, let me see if it's on there already. Let me 
How do I make a new one now? I need to figure out how to work this thing. I don't know how to add stuff to my storefront. Do y'all know how to do this? I don't know how to add it. I don't even know how to add it. Thank you, uh, Fantasy. Uh, thank you, Leon. I'm trying to figure out how to get this right. Oh, there we go. Now, what the hell I was doing? There we go, boom. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Got it. I have at least two products. Okay, let's see.
There we go. What's your Amazon list? Uh, message me on May Smith with a blue check mark, and I'll send it to you. Thank you for explaining, Summer. What she explained? What she explained? Oh yeah, and it was done in Galveston, Texas. Yep, I'm gonna make a, a hot cocoa frother with that tomorrow. And M. It's freezing in New Mexico, is it? Hmm. It was hot in the eighties. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go to Bigo. I'll see y'all over there. Bye, y'all.